Hey guys, welcome to Guitars and Games today. We're gonna go over using fret erasers to polish frets that have already been leveled and crowned. I'm also gonna go over some of the file, the file that I use for the fret ends to dress them to keep them from poking your fingers on the edge. Um, for that, we're gonna use my custom built 5150 replica guitar. Um, I built this a couple of years ago and um, I just haven't had time surprisingly to get around to fixing some of the issues that I ran into when I built it um, and one of the main ones was although this neck was built to order when I uh, when I started this <clears throat> they didn't really crown the frets very well or they didn't level the frets very well um, and the edges uh, the fret ends were very very sharp so um, I tried to do a little bit before I could afford some of the tools that I'm going to show you in this video. Um, but I will say that the tools that I did use uh, for it helped out tremendously. Um, so what we're going to use today for that is the Hosco fret erasers. There's a 180, a 300, or a 400, and a 1000 grit fret erasers. We'll use those and a couple of Stumac files that uh, for the fret ends. Um, and again on this, this is a, I believe, I'm not sure the radius doesn't really matter, but I know these are jumbo stainless steel frets on this thing. So um, we'll get into that and um, I'll show you after I get done uh, fixing the frets on here, uh, or at least demonstrating what those fret files can do, or the fret files and the uh, fret erasers can do for you, um, I'll go ahead and play a little couple of tones on it um, once I get those done to see how smooth it is. Um, and I can already tell you it's definitely going to be great. Um, but for the for the tones, it's going to be going through my EVH 5153 and i am got, I think it's a Donner delay on that as well on some of the parts. Um, but that's going to be also using a Seymour Duncan um, I think it's the SH-11 Custom Custom, and it sounds fantastic through this amp. It it really captures, if you want that, and you know, Van Halen, early Van Halen sound, it is amazing. So um, you'll get to hear a little bit of that, and um, check out the, uh, the Fred Erasers as well. So um, let's get into it. This is my 5150. Um, it's strung up right now because I wanted to test the string height and everything on it. Um, and what uh, what I'm going to do is take the strings off and we'll get the frets. Uh, I'll get a close up in on the frets to show you all how the, the frets look. Also, I'm kind of rubbing my fingers along, along the edges here. And the edges are kind of pokey like it's not terrible but these frets are jumbo stainless steel frets um and the the maker i think i got this from musiccraft.com but the edges here are very i don't know they're very sharp but they're just enough to kind of annoy me to an extent it's not bad it's just i can feel them and i want to take the, the, the sharpness off the ends of those. So um, what I'm gonna use is I have, where is it at? There. Um, it is the Stumac uh, fret dressing file. And I got this from Amazon, you can get it from Stumac as well. But it's got uh, the files on both sides here. The top is flat but the bottom is rounded off and that rounded bottom allows you to hit the edges of the file without damaging the fretboard here but what we're going to do is just nip the tops or the the side the, the ends of these these frets off because they are a little sharp for me so um, let me get these strings off and we'll pick back up all right <clears throat> let's get going on this
All right. So as I said before, we're using the Stumac uh, Fred in dressing files. Uh, now, I mean, this isn't too bad, um, but I just kind of wanted to show these off because I've used them before. Um, basically, what you want to do is make sure you get that rounded side down onto the, the fretboard because this is not going to do any damage when you move it back and forth. And what we're going to do is just nip those ends off. Okay? And it's going to feel so much better on your fingers running across the edges there. Okay. So we'll just file those off on both ends here. Like that. And that just feels, I mean, I can already tell. It just feels so much better on your finger. And like I said, this, this fretboard has already been uh, leveled and crowned. So I'm just going through and fixing the small little things on here. And that feels good. Okay, and now, I mean, this actually, this first one doesn't look too bad, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and use these uh, Freddy Racers. This is the Hosco brand made in Japan. This is the 180, so I'm assuming that's 180 grit. Um, so let's go ahead and put that on there. And rub it out just like that. And if you're ever using this, if you're ever doing this on a fretboard that you want to keep clean and you don't want any damage to, make sure you tape this off with painter's tape. Uh, just tape off every the, the top here and the sides along the edge here. Just tape that off with painter's tape and you won't do any damage to your fretboard. This is a rough guitar, and honestly, the more, I won't say more damage, but the, as you can see, the fretboard is already very dirty. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to be like that, so I'm okay with putting a little bit of damage on it. I'm not really worried about that. So we'll go ahead and just use this 180, and this is the first time I've used any fret erasers on. I mean, I can, it's, it's doing it. It's definitely, it scuffed it. So that was the 180. We'll go up to the uh, 400 now, which is the red one here. And it definitely is, it's working. I, I'll tell you that. It is shinier. For sure. And we got the 400. See, I didn't get this edge here. All right, and now we'll try the uh, 1000. Surprisingly, I'm actually kind of impressed with that. Um, I don't. I know it's probably super hard to see, and I mean, I know I didn't give you a super close up of the before. You can see the ends there. Uh, you know, right here, where that's that's rounded off, like a dome. So this has been crowned as well. So I leveled and crowned it, and I nipped the ends off, and then I went ahead and polished it with these Hosco brand. I got them off Amazon. Actually, that, I mean, that's not too bad. I'm actually kind of impressed. So I'm going to go ahead and go on down the fretboard and see how much uh, damage we could do to the whole thing. So I'm just going to take uh, my fret dress file. And I'll go all the way, all down every single one of these and uh, nip the ends off those and uh, polish them up. And I'm impressed. This actually worked pretty well. It's not, I mean, it's not super, super uh, good, but it's, I mean, it's, yeah. We'll get this all, finish this all up and um, I'll restring it up and I'll give you a little sound demo of it. 
And actually, I'm going to do a review of this guitar. Or I'll say a review. I'll do a uh, kind of an overview of how I made it and what I did to it. Um, it was a pretty fun project. If you like Van Halen, if you want one of the one, uh, 5150 guitars, it's actually a pretty fun project to do. So, um, finish this up, and we'll do a sound demo, and see you guys in a minute. <laughs> So I finished up doing the frets all the way down, nipping the ends off to uh, not make it so pokey on my fingers and my hand. Um, I also used that those uh, Hosco uh, fret erasers, and I gotta tell you, um, they worked okay. What I would what I would say is for twenty bucks. Um, they are good to take the deep scratches out when you're done leveling and crowning the file, uh, your, your frets. And then you use those to step up and take out those kind of big scratches, the small scratches in them. And um, I noticed that I didn't get a mirror-like finish like I did uh, with my 
um, Dremel and the polishing compound. I think I got the brown polishing compound. It's from, like from Harbor Freight. You can find them all. You can find that stuff online as well. You can find it at Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, um, it looks fine to me. If you, I mean, it's it plays great. I um, mean, you don't hear the uh, scratchiness that you would if you had leveled it and crowned it and not polished the frets. That's what I found with that. Um, so, do they work? Yes, they work. Um, will they make it mirror-like finish? No, they won't. Um, again, use them to get out those small scratches and then use that rubbing compound to, or polishing compound to make that mirror-like finish on it and it'll look great, I promise you. Um, for this guitar, I'll go ahead and say I'm gonna do another video of what this guitar is, how I made it, what I did to it, and all the parts that I put on it. I love this guitar. It is a fantastic uh, tribute piece, the 5150 tribute piece to uh, Van Halen guitar. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about the Freddy Racers or what I did to the frets on this guitar, um, I'll leave links to all of the, the fret uh, erasers and the fret end dressing files that I used on this guitar to get those ends better in the description. So if you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comments below and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.